Now, so far, the L systems that we've been working with have been deterministic in nature. So for a, a given axiom and a given set of production rules, if we were to look at one particular generation created by that L system, uh, it doesn't matter how many times we run the L system or when we run it, right? That the result of one particular generation will always be the same. However, by introducing probabilities into, uh, for, for example, whether or not a, a, a given character will be rewritten as uh, some other string, right? By introducing these probabilities, we can uh, get some stochastic results out of an L system. So let's take a look at some notation uh, for how we can actually uh, describe this and then uh, take a look at uh, an example to see what, uh, what sort of results we might get. Uh, I'm not going to use any uh, constants in this L system, uh, but instead uh, we'll just try and keep things simple. I'm going to create kind of a, a very simple plant-like shape uh, just by specifying that the variable A will give me a draw forward and branch right, and a B will give me a another draw forward and branch left. So we'll just try and keep things simple here uh, so we can focus on the probabilities. Uh, let's, uh, let's actually start with an axiom uh, A, 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 uh, just to get a few characters to start off with here, and then specify a rule. We'll use a different color for this. Uh, so our rule uh, will have only a 50% chance of actually rewriting the character A as, uh, let's say, A, 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 B. All right, so only half the time when we encounter an A will we actually rewrite the character, and uh, in, in every other uh, case, we'll just leave the character as is. All right, so let's draw out a few iterations for this L system to see what we uh, might uh, end up getting with it. All right, so iteration zero is uh, just our axiom here. And then uh, with iteration one, well, we're going to have to introduce some uh, random, uh, some random results here, right? So when we implement this in code, we'll use a random number generator or figure out some way of just having this operation only happen 50% of the time. But for the time being, I'll just uh, make the decision uh, on the fly as we, as we just draw out this example. So starting at the first occurrence of the letter A, um, well, uh, how, about, uh, how about this probability fails and we do not rewrite it? All right, so we'll just, we'll just reproduce that A uh, right down here. But then for the next occurrence, how about yes? How about this one is rewritten as AAB? And then finally, uh, we have a final A here where, again, the, uh, the, the rewrite fails. So this, this A is not rewritten. Let's do this a second time for our next iteration here. Uh, for Let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five occurrences of the character A. So roughly speaking, uh, we should end up with about two or three successes here if this is a 50% chance of success. So let's, let's try and keep that in mind as we're drawing this out. So how about for the first occurrence of uh, the letter A, how about... Again, it, it, it fails the first time, uh, but for the second time, this time it does succeed. So A, 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 B. Uh, for this, uh, for, for this uh, letter A, uh, how about, uh, again, it succeeds. So A, A, B. Uh, this one uh, fails, so we just reproduce the A. Uh, well, we encounter a B here, so well, we the, our rules state that we don't do anything with the character B, so... We just reproduce that one. And finally, uh, again, how about we have a success? Yeah, that was two successes. So this can be our third success uh, for the L system. Okay, so let's draw this out again, just using our very uh, simplified kind of high level drawing operations here. And let's see what we can achieve with this. So we'll start off with uh, draw an A, which is draw forward branch right, A, A, and A, 
We get a B, which is our branch left, and one, two, three more A's in a row. So A, 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 and then a B, an A, another B, and we're running out of space here, so I'll just uh, scale, just scale this down a little bit. We can finish off drawing this. We get three, three A's in a row again. A, 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 and we can finish off with a B. All right, so um, already that's uh, you know that that's that's helping us achieve an interesting uh, distribution of right and left branches. But the real power of this is every single time we generate. Uh, a, a, or we, we run the L system again and create a new set of generations. Uh, this, the, the resulting string can be different because this involves a, uh, a, a random probability. All right, so that's a, an interesting way of potentially generating you know, non-deterministic results and getting interesting looking maybe plants and, or, or other organic shapes like that.